All right, hello again. So, last week we uh, converted the X and Y axis, axis of this machine to CNC, so that's right here. This week we're going to do the harder part, the Z axis. Okay, so this guy goes on here, right about there. So how are you supposed to adjust your gibbs once this is on here? Snug enough right there. I still got tons of a huge gap there. Did I grab the wrong screw? No, I grabbed the right screw. It's short. There's two screws. There's a long. There's two long ones and two short ones. But I grabbed the short ones that came out of these holes. I'm gonna try the bottom one. eighth of an inch to go in. So from what I can tell this is the right way to do it. Uh, I found some pictures where they do have the little thumb screw spot taken out before they put this on. So they don't show you or tell you how to hold it up so I just grabbed a 2x4 that happened to be pretty much exactly the right length that I need and just propped it up like that. Um, before I snug this thing down with this big bolt from the inside though I think I'm going to tighten my gibbs. I really don't like that on here, but it they pretty much managed to knock out all four of the of the screws and get in the way. So it's like, how do you do that in, in two or three months when your gibbs need adjusted? It's kind of a downside. You think they could have moved that over half an inch or an inch and solved that problem just by doing that. Yep. 
A lot of days where I wonder, you know, am I just really dumb? Or did someone, you know, or is the time just really that bad? See, even my element right here won't get in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this off, adjust my Gibbs, put it back on, but that's really gonna suck if in the future, every time you go to adjust the Gibbs, you have to remove the Z-axis entirely. That's, that's rough. That shouldn't be a, a thing. figured out that I am doing everything correctly. Um, I actually found a video where another guy's having pretty much all the exact same problems I'm having. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. What came off the mill is too long, so it looks like I'll be going to the store to get shorter bolts for those two. And then the bolt inside here, he had just as much trouble getting that in there too. He had to cut his Allen key. Right here I get a drill, lucky me, four holes in here, and that's what's going to hold the motor mount bracket to the to the column. So I've kind of got it, um, kind of played around with it a little bit, kind of tried to find that sweet spot. So I think it's somewhere about right there. And they give you six millimeter um, bolts in the kit. I've got a six millimeter tap. So I'm not going to use the nuts. I'm going to go ahead and try and tap it. Um, it's a cheap tap, so I'm hoping I can get four holes out of it without it going to crap on me. But we'll go from there. Worst case, I just drill it out a little bigger and use the nuts. and everything before I did this and now that pretty much just gave everything all the metal shavings and stuff something to stick to so all that pile there of metal shavings is all just from doing this little portion of it So I've got it to the point where um, everything's on there, it's just not snugged up yet. Um, I got it close, um, just eyeballing it and everything, so that that ball screw is parallel with the um, um, column. So at this point I'm just going to put the motor on there, start everything up, and then um, just run it slowly and if it starts to bind I'll kind of tweak it and uh, that's how I think I'm going to work it.
so nasty in there. Might just be some grit that's in there too. See the motor kind of bouncing back and forth. That means the coupler must have to be moving. It's a lot happier. It's making noises, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's some metal shavings and junk in there from when we were drilling. Hey, so my camera died as I was finishing up that Z-axis, but I wanted to let you know that noise was mainly because the bearings were a little dry. I put some grease on the ball screws and it quieted it right down. So everything's working well. The kit looks like it's good. It's going to hold some tight tolerances. It looks like I can't feel any slop anywhere. So yeah, stay tuned. We're going to start cranking out some stuff. See you next time.